Hello and welcome to a Broken Tippet fly tying video. Today we're going to be tying Daphnia. Daphnia is a type of zooplankton. It's a very important dietary item of rainbow trout in still waters. They can be fished underneath an indicator or stripped in through the water column using a sinking line. The colors can be found in pale green, yellow, apricot orange, and pinkish prawn colors. The most, and they're most commonly tied on a size 10 to 14 scud hook, which is what we are going to put in the vise here today. We have a size 10 scud hook with a size 764 char chartreuse bead. And we're just going to apply some 70 denier chartreuse tying thread. And we're just going to get a nice healthy coat on the hook shank here starting from the bead and working our way down now you can also use a lead wire instead of the bead that'll help bring the fly down through the water column quicker uh, if you're going to do that route we would suggest using um, you know a thread color to really complement it and give it a hot spot the uh, chartreuse bead here will do that job for us so I'm just going to bring my thread down just to where that curve starts so we can tie in our first bit of material, which is going to be some crystal flash. And this is a root beer color. And I'm going to select three pieces, three strands, and we're just going to tie that in. And then the beauty of using three strands is I'm going to take those and bring them back Pull them back over towards the tail and we're going to tie that in just where our thread stopped when we were doing that initial thread wraps. So less is more as you can see here. I'm going to tr trim off um, trim off the crystal flash about the same size as the hook shank. And then I can bring my tying thread back down to that point where we will tie in our second material. So just as like the, um, the preview fly there looked, we're gonna be doing a two-tone Daphnia. So this is Atomic Yellow Jelly Fritz. And with the Jelly Fritz, there's a bunch of different materials that you can use. You can use Fritz, uh, Slush Jelly, and Daphnia Fritz as well. Once you select your piece, I like to take the first bit of material off the, off the end so you can locate that white tying thread. And we're just going to wrap that around as our tie-in point. And I'm just gonna bring my thread back down to where the tail begins. And then I can bring my thread back up to the bead where it can sit. Now when we wrap this, I like to start with uh, everything going in the same direction. And we're just gonna do wraps. And you'll notice every time we wrap, we wanna bring that, bring the fibers back behind. What ends up happening is um, you'll form a, I'm just gonna restart here, just like that. So one thread wrap, you push that behind. If you don't, you can see how that kind of splices in the middle. So keep folding that back. And essentially what we're doing is we're creating a nice dense fly. And because we're doing the two-tone color, we're gonna stop about the halfway point here, just like that. And we're gonna tie this off. So we'll do two thread wraps behind and a few in front to lock it in. And we can trim that away. And so the back half of this fly is very dense. Don't worry about the front half with all those little loose fibers. Though They will uh, get wrapped up with this pink prawn color that we're going to apply. So same thing, I'm just gonna rip off the butt section there to get a nice tie-in point. 
Uh, make sure you have a vacuum on hand because there is a lot of jelly fritz on the ground when you make a few flies. So we'll tie that in and leave our thread just behind the bead. And we're just gonna do the exact same motion here. So do a thread wrap and push all those fibers back behind you. And then we're gonna be putting up a nice little cushion right behind this bead. And I think that's gonna be it for the amount of times we can go around. So I'm just gonna do two wraps behind. And we can do a few wraps in front there to seal everything in. And we can cut away that piece. And there you have it. Daphne applied. We'll do a little whip finish here. Uh, these flies are great for ice off. They're also great in the heat of the summer and towards fall as well. So it's best to have a few different color combinations in your fly box, especially when you do the throat samples and you can figure out what color the fish are feeding on. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Fish on. Thank you for watching another Broken Tippet video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Fish on.